Hey guys, it's Kelsey and I am up today for the telephone game YouTube Hop. So I'm following Miranda under the Artistic Arsenal team and this is her layout. I was really intimidated when I first saw this. There's lots of color, lots of mixed media. I love what she did. It's not something I really do a lot. So it was very challenging, but I decided to go ahead and try and copy her watercolor background. Um, I think she did a much better job than I did. I'll tell you right off the bat and I can't wait to see her process video. Um, that was posted yesterday, so I've seen it by now, obviously, by the time you saw this one. But I can't wait to see how she did her mixed media, because hers definitely turned out better than mine did. This isn't my first time trying something like this. Um, I just pulled out a, basically all the colors of the rainbow that Miranda used. I'm going to try and do them in the same pattern. But I just tried to do this watercolory blob that dripped down the page. <laughs> and then she had some splatter as well, so I added some splatter too. But I'm just going to go through all these colors and <laughs> try my best to replicate what Miranda did for her background. Um, but yeah, I know mine didn't turn out <laughs> as good as hers did. I'm trying to alternate my colors where on the page they are so one can kind of dry before I do the color next to that one. Um, in the end, I have to pull out my heat gun because they're not drying quick enough. But this was really fun to do. It was just super different for me. <laughs> and I just guess I don't have the right technique down yet for it. But um, I love trying stuff like this and I was really inspired by what she did to try and do something similar. <laughs> so if you guys aren't familiar with the YouTube um, telephone game hop, it's pretty much like the game that we all played when we were kids where we whispered something down the line um, until we got to the end and then we saw how different the original phrase was from the ending phrase. We're pretty much doing that with scrapbook layouts. So. Um, I hadn't seen any of the layouts prior to the one Miranda sent me. I used hers and only hers as my inspiration for this layout and then I passed this one on to the person who is next. So tomorrow you will see Crystal's layout um, that she will be scrapbooking of my design. <laughs> um, but as you can see I'm just struggling to get this watercolor on a page. Um, but yeah this is super fun and I had mentioned that uh, when I was doing Sarah Scraps Mixed Media class that my mixed media paper I couldn't find any 12 by 12 and I was too impatient to order some and wait for it to get to me. So I just ordered the closest thing I could find or um, at the store so it was like an 11 by 13 paper pad so that's why this is kind of an oblong shape I kind of already cut it down to 12 inches and now it's 12 by 11 so now I'm just trimming it up a little more because I do want to mat it on some black but you can see how it doesn't reach all the way to the end but luckily enough this design has some vertical strips that go all the way edge to edge so you can see where I'm cutting my paper now. I'm going to mat these so they look like they go all the way across the page and then I'll end up covering this gap anyways with some paper layers the same as Miranda did on hers. Um, Miranda's is super, super colorful. She has the colorful mixed media like me, but then she also pulled in a lot of colorful layers and a lot of colorful um, ephemera and I really like how hers turned out. I feel like I got a little stuck here because I didn't really have the embellishment that I wanted to continue doing what she was doing. So I decided to flip it a little bit here um, instead of keeping up with all the rainbow and all the color. I switch gears and decide that my paper layers and all of my embellishment were going to be more on the black and white scale. That way I have this very colorful background, um, but then I kind of pull in black and white to make this really bold impact. <laughs> I really wish I had more like things to do what Miranda did because I really did like her uh, her design um, but I kind of had to work with what I had in my stash and I knew I had a lot of black and white elements I could pull in so I kind of went down that route um, so right away I'm going to map both of my photos with some plain black cardstock um, and then I will go through my stash and pull out some black and white pattern papers. I find a piece of like little heart paper that's white with black hearts on it. So I double matted my photos in that, which you will see. And then I go back and do a third mat with this plain black paper again. <laughs> but I'm just trying to create some nice mats um, before these hit the paper <laughs> because I know I'm going to have some vertical strips going up and down my page, but I wanted some like good amount of layers around the photo before I got to that point. Um, you can see why I already started pulling in some black and white elements on the left there that I think I might pull in. 
I have my uh, clear little water droplet enamel dots. I pulled in a doily. I don't think I end up getting that on a page, but um, glassine bags and black twine I thought would all <laughs> be really nice uh, layering things that would um, not detract from my colorful background. So I'm just trying to get this heart mat all um, trimmed down. I'm wanting you to be able to see the hearts all the way around the photo. So I kind of had to um, figure out a way to space it so you'd be able to see it. And then I'm gonna try and offset the photo a little bit so the, the mat isn't completely square. Um, I just thought this is a fun page with all this mixed media color. I didn't want three mats to be all squared up. <laughs> so I think by making this uh, heart one a little crooked, it kind of helps make it more fun and whimsical. Um, and you'll be able to see that better once I mat it again on black. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that, but after I matted both of these photos in the heart paper, it really got lost against the background. Um, so doing this third mat with just black <laughs> helps define it a little bit. So um, that's why I went back with the third one. I think after this though, I need to figure out what my vertical pieces are going to be. I do have my die cuts with the View Jet Black Stack. That's basically a whole paper pad of black and white designs. Um, so I pull pretty heavily from that to get the rest of my paper layers. Uh, but I knew that this was gonna be what the photos were gonna be matted on, so I went ahead and got those down. <laughs> Um, Miranda also has some tags and, and a bunch of fun layers coming out from the sides of her photo. So um, I'm trying to mimic the same thing uh, with a glassine bag and a tag. These black tags though were just a little too short. I really wanted them to be able to reach to the bottom of the photo. But then I remembered I did have some longer black tags that did reach all the way to the bottom of the photo. So I just switched those black tags out for those ones. Um, and I didn't know when I was ever going to use those tags because they are so long, but <laughs> it actually worked out perfect for this page. So I'm doing that on both outer sides of the photo. So that's balanced. And I'm, I'm kind of liking that these are both ending up symmetrical um, because I have this really fun background that's asymmetrical. I like that the photos that are on here are being layered and treated the same way. Uh, and then, of course, that tag needs some twine. So I'm just throwing some black and white twine behind that. Um, this photo was from, was this, I'm trying to remember if this was Savannah or St. Augustine, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is St. Augustine, <laughs> but it was over the Labor Day weekend vacation that Marcus and I went on. We went to um, St. Augustine for a day, and then we went to Savannah for a day on the way back, um, but yeah, <laughs> this was during when Hurricane Dorian was uh, rolling in, <laughs> and so you can see we're at the beach. Um, but we're not going swimming. We had two, double red flags uh, saying the water was not safe to go in. But I definitely wanted to get some pictures because it looked so cool how stormy the sky looked and how stormy the ocean looked. And then all of a sudden we got this really vivid bright rainbow in the midst of all of this dark storminess. And it looked so beautiful and I just thought this was the perfect page for that to do some rainbow mixed media. And I also felt like it helped enhance the fact that I was pulling in a whole lot of black and white elements because we have all this color, but I'm trying to pull it down a little bit with the black. And that was very reminiscent of that day because we had very dark skies and seas, but then we got this really vivid rainbow. So um, I just pulled in some thickers to do my title. I just called it Beach Rainbow and just had one word on each photo. And now you can see where I'm trying to get those vertical layers down. <laughs> so I have this one diagonal piece. I want it to be a shorter layer. And then I'm going in for some decorative border pieces from that paper pad um, to create my strips that went all the way from one side to the other. And that helped cover up my gap from my watercolor paper. Um, one of these strips was a scallop detail. So I just went ahead and fussy cut that. Um, but I think that's the perfect little bit. And then I wanted one more piece to kind of uh, show off those two branding strips. So I have this more black on black pattern paper that I'm going to stretch behind those two branding strips so you can really see them set off from that diagonal piece. Uh, so I'm just going to glue those pieces down. It wasn't long enough to go edge to edge, but because this photo is gonna be covering a portion of that, I just made sure the gap was gonna be behind the photo. Um, but now that I'm getting all these vertical pieces down, I will glue down my photos, and then I just did need to do a little bit more embellishing. I know it's not done yet, but I know it's getting close. Um, 
So you can see to the left there, I did pull out some embellishments I thought might go. I have these really cool frosted acrylic pieces from Chamel I thought I might use. Um, but I end up going back and pulling out those uh, puffy, they're not epoxy, but they're the shiny looking, um, I guess they are kind of epoxy, I don't know. You'll see them in a minute, the left there, those thick, that thicker sheet is left over from my Hawaii vacation, so I figured this is another vacation, I might as well try and get them used up here, and they're also on with the, you know, matching with the black and white theme. So I end up going more for those than the acrylic pieces by Chamel. Um, just because I thought that brought in the black and white again. So gluing down those photos. I'm pretty much gluing them down the same way Miranda had. Miranda used two 3 by 4 photos, I think, which turned out really, really good. She was really able to layer a lot and get a lot of embellishment around them. Um, I am using two 4 by 6s so it does take up a lot more space, so I definitely had to uh, change the way I embellished, but I did have these really cool black die cuts I thought would be a nice decorative edge to tuck behind the tag on both photos. Um, and then you can see I'm really thinking about doing that black and white camera that's on the thicker sheet I just wanted some kind of icon because right now everything's very generic. It's you know an envelope and a tag and um, I wanted like an actual icon at somewhere <laughs> So I'm gonna put some of these water droplet enamel dots down those again are from the, the in love art shop um, and then I think I'm gonna go in with the camera. But I thought those were really cool too, because again, it looks like you know stormy uh, sky and sea, and <laughs> these water droplets reminded me of either rain or water, you know, the ocean. So I thought those went really well. But here the camera is. I'm gonna tuck that down next to that tag, and then I do want a couple small embellishments. Um, on the other photo as well, but I just really wanted an icon somewhere <laughs> so that camera was perfect And then I have those two little arrows that are going to go on the other photo um, But I think other than adding a couple more of those little water droplet pieces. I think I'm done So this one was a lot of fun. So wait, um, I'm gonna link my team in the description Crystal will be tomorrow scrap lifting this and I can't wait to see what she does with it It was super challenging for me, <laughs> but I like how it turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye